We know that we need beveled edges to create believable and interesting models, but what do we do when that bevel isn't uniform or needs to be wider or smaller in the middle start or end? In this quick tip, I'll show you how to use an easily overlooked feature of the bevel tool, not the bevel deformer, subselection of edges, to create tapered or non-uniform bevels. So go ahead and open up the starting file for this project and double click on the edge selection tag. Now we're going to go ahead and right click find and select our bevel command. Now uh, let's go ahead and just click and drag in the view a little bit to get just a bit of offset in there. Now what I'm going to do, because this tool is still live, we can go in and adjust the width of this and that's great, but I want the top of these to be thinner. So I'm going to create a subselection by holding the controller command key and then just clicking on one of these highlighted polygons or one of these sections of the bevel. Now not all sections can be selected. You see the top up here, I think that's the, the mitering. That cannot be selected. Um, but I got that one. Now if I just click and drag on that red edge, I can adjust its offset so it's more narrow. Now I can control click on some other edges and if I again just click and drag, now all three of those subselections are tied together and they all have the same uh, offset for that bevel. But if I want to maintain the relative difference here, then what I can do is I can hold shift and click on a uh, orange edge. And now I can adjust them all and it'll maintain the sub selected uh, difference in bevel offset. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I have my selection. I'm going to go ahead and add a relatively wide bevel in there. I'm going to enable limit. I'm going to add my subdivisions to about three. And then I'm just going to control click on these top sections here. I'm not going to bother you with having to watch me go all the way around. So I'll just do these that we can see and then I'll just click and drag those in. And you know what, let's go ahead and to get this to sort of bend in, I'm going to set the depth to beyond negative 100% like so. So this can be a little tricky to work with sometimes. I have this, these uh, sub-selections down here, which I've made a little more narrow. Now what I want to do is I want to make the longer middle ones larger. So I have to deselect all of these, or if you just control click on another edge, it deselects that sub-selection, and then I can go in and create a new one. and make that wider. So to get the finishing touches on this mug and make it a little more interesting, I'm going to go to polygon mode and with my loop selection tool I'm going to select that loop and I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a normal move and move those in or if you want you can scale them inward. Now I'm going to select the inner loop and do the same thing. If you're using the scale tool you can do these uh, simultaneously. You don't have to do them separately uh, as I am. Uh, but if you do then you can also use normal move and move those in to your liking. So now it's there's a little more curve there. I'm going to go back to my loop select and let's get this loop 
and this loop and let's just go to scale and scale them out a little bit just so it's a little wide mouthed mug. This selective bevel feature will help you create just the type of detail that is time consuming and tricky to model by other means. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.